Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the drug target coronavirus and I will find out the active molecule from the database for this COVID-19 and try to give you guys some heads up how I can do the lead optimization. So let's go to CMD. Type uh, Jupyter Notebook. So the home page of Jupyter Notebook opens. Uh, so go to the new page and give this page name. So COVID-19. So now in order to work with uh, medicinal chemistry, uh, I have to upload number of library. So just I'm going to copy and paste these libraries from the notepad. Copy all the libraries and paste it in the cell. So here you can see uh, the common library are NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and some uh, medicinal chemistry libraries are need to import RDKit and from RDKit import all of the chem libraries. And I'm going to open the open source Campbell web page. So import the new client and for bioinformatics for 3D structure I, I can import also uh, some libraries as well. So first uh, get uh, get the target from the uh, database. Target new client dot target dot search. the coronavirus target and make this target to table format So from this table, you can see uh, the SAR coronavirus, SAR coronavirus 3C like uh, protein is. I'm going to use this single uh, protein and then index is 4. So get this target out from the table. Kimbell ID I'm going to use I'm going to use the 4 index 4 if I run it you can see this uh, Kimbell ID 3927 and uh, this ID is 3927 from using this target 3927 I'm going to pull all the active data from this uh, database so write down the code new client activity dot filter filter and then target Campbell ID ID 3927 target and then also filter IC50 filter type equals to IC50 also make this variable to table format now I can run this and see the shape of the table so 
so it has a 15 105 rows and 43 uh, columns so see the columns of the table as you can see all the column is showing over here so I'm going to use uh, only the column I need uh, to work with so I will create a data frame I'm going to take uh, the molecular Campbell ID the canonical smile the type and also I'm going to use the standard value and check this few rows here as you can see the IDs and the one dimensional structure I filter only the types so only I can see IC50 uh, there are so many different types as well KI, EC50, percentage, activities so different type of I uh, can see also but I just type uh, did it only the IC50 and their normal level activities so just first clean up this table if there is any non value so now I'm going to add as you know that uh, the medicinal chemist they always like to see the structure of the molecule so I'm going to introduce the molecular structure into this table so pandas tools dot add add column molecule columns molecular column to frame so this can nickel smile to make it to the molecule and see this few head of the so what is the issue here canonical smile or canonical smiles has to be s here so run it as you can see uh, here you can see all the molecule of the uh, com uh, for the, from it coming from the canonical smile we can uh, convert it to all the molecules so now uh, as you know that uh, one is oct octane water uh, partition coefficient the log p one of the very important feature uh, it shows a molecule will behave inside the bo body that the absorption distribution metabolism and excretion depend on log p value so let's introduce uh, the log p also in this table descriptor dot molecular log p then append appended log p so run this name log is not defined okay log p or oh, here is the p missing so now 
this uh, mlogp this create as a series so i have to uh, convert it to uh, the tables uh, so trans write down the code is df1 equals to pd dot data frame log p columns equals to give the name of the column sorry uh, log p if we run this now you can see the log p only giving all the log p so i have to concatenate this log p tables with this table so this is uh, df and this is df1 so if i join these two df2 equals to pd concat df df1 sorry df1 axis equals to 1 for row is 0 uh, for column is 1 so now if we run this head of few column so now we can see the molecule molecular structure and log p you can see the log p here so now we have a uh, molecule and we have a molecular activities we also have a log p so now we wanted to uh, see the most active compound uh, from this table so in order to do that first i have to see all the data type for these tables so df2 dot data type Uh, you can see here most of the data types is objective this is integer i mean this is uh, a string so the st stand value we can is, uh, is all the numeric here so in order to uh, work with this i have to convert this object to numeric or uh, float so let's convert it dot standard value dot s type float so so now we convert it to float so if i uh, run back this one you can see this is the standard value converted to float so now i'm going to get most active compound from this table so this is similar so i just copy and paste this code and convert it here so this is a boolean so it's need to double df2 sorry df2 so now if i run this you will see the most active compound uh, from this table so this is the most active compound in this database a molecular weight for this uh, uh, for this compound is less than 500 so it is drug like molecule log p only 2.6 is a little high usually intestine absorption happen between 1.4 to 1.8 and cns absorption too so if we consider this is a lead molecule then this molecule need to be optimized as you can see this molecule can be divided into three parts the left part a is five member ring furan the middle part b is linkage the ester and the right part c is bromopyridine to optimize keep two part constant and modify one part at a time and try to improve the activity and the log p so now if we just wanted to see the uh, 3d structure for this molecule and then uh, find get the protein and how we can do the uh, docking with the active site 
So let's see the uh, uh, 3D structure for this active molecule. Pi 3D 3D dot BU query here uh, this molecular Campbell ID is this if you just copy this ID and go to and write Campbell ID Kim pub cam here you can copy and paste this and the first molecule you can see see the same molecule is this uh, from the uh, pop can so we can copy this ID and paste in over here and put this set style is tick the spectrum Run this. Now we can run this, and you can see the three D structure uh, for this active molecule. And also, if you wanted to see the coronavirus, uh, the protein, just it's very similar. Copy this code and change this ID. This is from the protein database, the PDB. And if I run this, you see that uh, the, all this uh, protein structure with a stick. And if you wanted to see the cartoon, can see the cartoon the next step would be how uh, we can do take this uh, active molecule and docking with this protein and that we will do at the uh, next time thank you for watching thanks